Hello, goodmusicdj.com here with a instructional review of a product from Monster called the Tower of Music Speaker. It's meant to be used either as a standalone Bluetooth or auxiliary in music speaker, but it is also capable of pairing with up to seven additional units for a total of eight for a somewhat of a surround sound experience that I think may be of interest to you. So let's get into it. Now here's a look at the Tower of Music speaker. I have labeled this one, one of my very first ones, as the master. I have a second unit that has been paired with this unit, and that's labeled unit number two. So let's go ahead and take a look at the controls. First of all, we have uh, the power button. We've got the easy play, transmit, and receive function here, Bluetooth, and the down and up volume, which is pretty much self-explanatory. And of course, for the purposes of Bluetooth speakers, you're using your smartphone, the ability to receive phone calls is, of course, enabled through the use of the speakers and the microphone right here. Let's go ahead and power the unit on. Just pressing that, you see that uh, power on. That also works, by the way, as a power on. as a uh, indicator of the power level of the battery, which is of course included. And if it is low, it, I believe it blinks uh, to let you know that it does need to be recharged. As it's charging, the light is uh, red, and after it completely charges you'll see that the light goes off and lets you know it's completely charged but as you can see this one is transmitting looking for a paired speaker so let's uh, bring in the second unit now here I have my second unit a little dusty labeled number two and I'm going to turn that unit on and you'll see that since I have paired it before it's going to automatically set up to receive. The transmit button on the master unit is steady. The receive LED on the receiving unit number two is steady, which means they are paired. So let's go ahead and pick up a little bit of music here. And as you can see, Units. Well, it took a little while, but through a process of trial and error, I was able or managed to pair all six speakers. So now the master unit is paired with all six speakers. After I've turned all six speakers on, I can turn off the master. Once the master is turned off, the other speakers will be waiting for a period of about two minutes before they enter a kind of a standby mode. Then later, turning on the master speaker wakes up the additional paired speakers and they all begin to work playing the same music. Incidentally, the volume control is individually controllable on every speaker. So you can have multiple tables in a wedding reception set up so that if they don't want it playing loudly at one table, they can lower the volume. Those who want a little bit louder on their table can raise the volume. I have successfully paired all six speakers. This is the master unit playing my source through the line in. I recently played a wedding reception where I was located in a barn and 
outside of the barn was a tent with multiple tables set up under the tent with a couple hundred people. Since I was inside the barn, they had a great deal of difficulty hearing what I had to say on the speakers, which were, of course, inside the barn where the dancing was going to take place later. So I had a problem of being heard at a remote distance. So I can imagine a scenario where I can set up up to eight of these speakers fed with an auxiliary line in from my sound system to the master speaker located in the central location among all of those tables and then you're able to control the volume on each individual speaker and control what's going into each and every speaker through your master input. So uh, give that some thought. I think you might find this worthy of a purchase. GoodMusicDJ.com. Thanks for watching.